Maddie was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis when she was born. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic chronic lung disease that also affects the digestive system. We had been home for a week with Addison and they had said that uh, you know, some of her tests had come back abnormal. It's a very chronic disease, so it absolutely floored us. Our life with Addison has changed tremendously. However, we try and engage in activities to keep her life as normal as possible, as well as our eight-year-old Campbell's. She's invested in Addie. She loves her to death. It's her best friend, and you know she makes sure that everything's getting done. She, uh, she's just, she's a big advocate for her sister. Addie is into all kinds of activities. She likes to run out there and get dirty and roll around in the dirt. Nobody would ever know that she's this child who has to go home and do breathing treatments and take chest PTs to help her breathe better. She's just this beautiful little girl who likes to run, play, and be with her friends and play soccer and play with her sister and her cousins. It's heartbreaking when, you know, all the other kids are outside having fun or doing whatever, and she has to come in and do treatment. We do treatments every day, twice a day, on a regular basis. It's a very time-scheduled day, trying to fit homework, showers, baths, treatments, practices, and everything else in. Dr. Schmidt is Addie's CF doctor, and he's absolutely wonderful. Addie is a delight. Uh, from, from day one, she stole everybody's hearts. The Children's Hospital of Richmond really educated us because they're so in tune to the disease and really gave us hope. They invited not only us, but our families, the babysitters, and anybody else who might be involved in Addison's life for an educational day. They will become your family. Addie was just uh, put on a new therapy medication called Kaleidico. When Addie was one year old, we learned about a clinical trial in a small number of patients um, that actually demonstrated that we can cure her specific form of cystic fibrosis. The problem was it was only approved for patients over the age of six. We had to fight to get her on it, and Dr. Schmidt was a big reason that she was able to start it a little bit early. I worked with the parents, with Bob Bell, the president of the CF Foundation, and with the insurance company to get this drug for Addie. She's only been on it for a few months. It has changed her life dramatically already. Every test they did, the results improved dramatically. Her lung function increased by 20%. Her sweat test basically came back as a normal sweat test. I don't think we've come down from cloud nine. We essentially cured her cystic fibrosis. She won't need to take this medicine every day, but it's a lot better future than she had. Hospitals like the Children's Hospital of Richmond, they're so invested in it, there is hope for years to come on this, on a cure. They've come so far in the last 50 years that we can truly see some type of daylight at the end. And you know, that's all we can hope for for Addie. I see the future for all patients with cystic fibrosis to be as bright as I see the future for Addie. I can see her getting married. I can see her having a family. I can see a perfectly normal life. I hope to walk her down the aisle one day and hope to have her give me grandchildren and you know, her and her sister stay close for the remainder of their their lives. That's all we could ask for. That's all any parent wants.